Hi there. We're going to show you how to set up a new meeting room with Instant Presenter. In order to set up a new meeting room, first click the Create New Meeting Room button. Then you can choose a meeting room name and leave yourself a note here in the topic summary if you'd like and set a password if you'd like. When done, click Next. You will then be prompted to go ahead and upload some PowerPoint slides to your presentation. You can click this button here in order to preserve animations if you have any, and keep in mind the maximum file size is 100 megabytes. Just go ahead and browse to the file you'd like, and click the Upload button. After a short uploading and conversion process, your file will be available for viewing inside an actual Instant Presenter meeting room. However, the next step, of course, is we want to get some people in there to see it. You can preview the slides you just uploaded here, and when you're ready, go ahead and click Send an Invite to your meeting. This is going to take you to the invitation screen. The first thing we're going to want to do here is set up a meeting start time. You're going to set a time, your date, a duration of the meeting, and what time zone that time applies to. And just click here. And then we're going to include all of our attendees' emails here. So I'm going to go ahead and send an invite to my colleague Joe. And my other colleague Jane is going to be helping me present, so I'm going to type her email over here. I can change the subject of the email if I want. And then I can go ahead and include a message in the actual body of the email. So I'm just going to type in, thanks for coming to my meeting. If I had a conference calling solution I was going to use, I would go ahead and put the information here, but I think I can do this just with voice over IP right over the internet. So I can click send invitation now, and that invite goes out to Joe and Jane. Now that that invitation's been sent, I can just go back to the account manager right here, and there's really only one thing left to do. Click the big green start meeting room button to start the meeting. For more on what to do after starting the meeting, please see our next tutorial, Running a Meeting Room. Thank you very much for viewing our tutorial, and have a great day.